Hey guys, it's Jackpot G-Laws. I'm trying out a new wooded location today. I'm trying to pull a gel, find a, uh, a colonial farm that's been abandoned and overgrown into woods. I've been trying all week, and it's been kind of a struggle. Joe definitely has a magic touch. Um, I tried another piece of woods today. It was terrible. So this is my backup spot, and I got some square nails. And I did manage to find this like 5-10 minutes ago. I don't know if it's like half a coin or half a flat button that's broken. But that, like, like, you see that line right there? It makes me think it's like half a coin. I'm not sure I'm going to go home and clean it up. And I did see somebody's dig hole over there, so somebody has been there. And it was like a giant 70 signal, and they never got out of the ground. But, uh, guys, I can I don't know what this is going to be, but... Oh, and my headphones are broken. I forgot. A thorn bush attacked me, too, this week and broke my, um, my headphone wire, so... Now you guys could really hear it. If that is some sort of old coin, I'm going to be very happy. I don't know, I have, I mean, I've been here for like 20, 25 minutes. Alright, let's see. I really hope. Unfortunately, it's whatever this weird thing is. Womp womp. Ring up so good. Maybe we'll get a coin soon. Guys, good news, I just found a flat button. That's the first one here. A little one. I got a couple more of those thingies that rang up high. They're so annoying. But this is lovely to see a flat button. It's beautiful. Let's see if we can find some more. And it's got the shank. Per Guys, I got a coin now. It uh, rang up 66.67. And uh, I could tell it's an Indian head penny. That is a great sign. Oh, I hate that little green mark, but it's only a little one. Definitely a good sign. Joe will be very happy. Maybe we can get some older coins, he'll be even more happy. Awesome. Looks like we got a decent spot going. Let's see if we can find some more. Guys, I just made a great button find. It's like it's one of my most unique buttons ever, and one of my one of my favorites already. I don't know what that is. It's like a porcelain, it's like a a copper and porcelain button. And it's got the shank squished. Whoa. That's so, I've never gotten a button like that before. Man, Joe's going to like that one. Wow. That's a good find. Right by the IHP too, right over there. So let's see if we can find some more guys. Guys, I just got another coin. It was ringing up 8081, but it had like a weird little like chop, like a button. And it kept going back down to like 78, 79. So I was like, oh, it's probably going to be a button, which would have been awesome. And it's some sort of coin. I have no idea what it is, but I could see a person right there. I don't know if you could see that person. Oh, yeah. Joe is going to be so happy. I just texted him. Maybe he'll... Maybe he'll come right now. I don't know if this... It's got to be old. It's got to be old. Oh, yes. All right, guys. I'll clean it up for you guys when we get home. Let's see if we can find some more. Guys, I was getting a nice coin signal, and I'm kind of disappointed to see that end up being a wheat penny. That's still a good find, but I was hoping it'd be something real old. Real, real old. Uh, but, I mean, this one's probably from the early 1900s, I would say. It's a good find though. Let's see if we can find some more. Guys, I just got another little button and I, I, it, I could feel it has a design. I'm not sure what it's going to be. The shank is broken, unfortunately. But that's still awesome. Let's see what the design is at home. Let's see if we can find some more. Guys, we got a pretty good signal. Ring up like the. I actually think that might be a Canadian large scent, the other coin I got. Which, this is what the Canadian Large Scent and the Wee Penny signal like, just shallower, so. Let's see what it's gonna be. And it's screaming because I don't have the headphones. Alright, please be something amazing. Maybe silver? Let's hope. Guys, you are not gonna believe this. I think it's a Colonial Copper. It might be a Large Scent, but considering it rang up 80, and I don't even know, it was shallower than the other coin signals I was getting. It just like... It was so shallow my pin pointer could could hear it. I just flicked it up and then I was like, oh my gosh. I was Since it rang up 80, I think it'll be a colonial copper. They usually ring up lower than a large sense. I mean, it could be a large scent. 
I am just, wow, Joe is going to be so happy. I was texting him. He said he wanted to try this spot, but he never had time to do it. Man, he's going to be so happy. And I'm probably, even though I'm getting such good stuff, I am probably going to leave. And, um, because I'm going to save this spot so me and Joe could do it together. Because I really, I can't, I can't be cleaning it up yet. Wow. That is amazing. <gasps> yes. Finally, I'm like one for 16 now in finding spots for Joe. Oh, yeah. Guys, I'm like 15, 20 feet where I got that colonial coin. And I use a broken colonial button, so. This is def definitely a good location. I'm about to head out of here. I'm going to detect on my walk out, though, of course. That's the rule. You always have to. See if we can find some more. Guys, I just managed another one. Oh, if that's anything like the last, last thing like that, I'm going to be a happy guy. Might be a wee penny though, let's see. Guys, it's a beautiful button. A beautiful, beautiful button. It's pretty thick, that's why it rang up like a coin like that. But i am that's my best, uh, my second best button today, so I'm really happy with that. Let's see if we can find some more. Here are the finds from the old woods, and I've finally picked out a genius location. Look at some of those finds, it's pretty awesome. Uh, I got a whole bunch of like random copper and lead stuff, like these things were kind of annoying because they rang up like large cents, and then these rang up like 80, 81, and there's a whole bunch from there. I got a giant, some giant chunks of lead right there, giant chunks, and um, I got some random pieces of copper, like an aluminum buckle. And, um, yeah, some random stuff. I got these square nails. This one's pretty cool. And then I got, a, like, a square steak. Pretty sweet. And, um, I got an underwear button. Oh, yeah, here's a lead bail seal. Got a, here's a nice little flat button. It's a little concaved. Pretty nice. I can never figure out what this is, but I think it's just a half a button. It's just copper. I got, this button's awesome. It has an eagle on it, actually. Pretty sweet. Shank is broken, though. That's still awesome. Broken button. And then, uh, here's a nice button right here. There we go. Focus. Pretty thick, rang up like a coin. This buck, this button is insane. I've never found a button like this with a giant porcelain. I found a button once with like a little porcelain circle thing in the middle, but this is huge. It's awesome. Ten points out of ten for uniqueness. Got a 1945 wheat penny. It's not even that old. That's all right. This is pretty cool. It's a James Monroe commemorative uh, presidential token 1817 to 1825 James Monroe the Monroe Doctrine and it says uh, the uh, cocked hat and it has like a whole bunch of verses on the inside soldier restitution New Jersey treaty uh, I forgot the entire thing, but if you look up uh, the James Monroe commemorative token, it has the entire verses, all the verses on the back. And uh, that's a pretty awesome token. I was pretty happy with that. And I um, also got an 1879 Indian head penny. I seem to find Indian head pennies everywhere I go. And uh, it's nice to get an older one. It's pretty awesome. Sweet Indian head penny. And then look at this guys. This is this is this is the find of the day. This is a beautiful it's in a great condition. It's beautiful. 1787 British colonial copper. King George the third. I've never found a copper in this good a shape. It is nice. One one's close, but 
I think this one's a little bit better. It's pretty nice. That is amazing. 1787. Awesome. And uh, I'm definitely going to hit this spot again with Joe. He's he's excited to hit it. And I think we're going to find much more. I, uh, I only scratched the surface. So I'll, I'll see you guys next hunt, next video. I'll be with Joe. And hopefully we'll be making some more amazing finds. And uh, happy hunting, guys. Thanks for watching.